Hi there! Are you looking for a smartwatch that's under 1500? Well then, you must check out the newly launched Firebolt Epic. Now, don't get mistaken by the price. For 1499, it has a lot in store. Firstly, a huge 1.69 inch display, 120 sports modes, heart rate sensor, SPO2 sensor, and even built in games. Yep, that's pretty interesting, especially for the price. So, let's quickly unbox it and dive straight in. Let's begin. So here is the retail packaging of the Firebolt Epic. It comes with a 1.69 inch full touch display, the image of the watch, towards the back you can see some of its key features, manufacturing details and the MRP of 7999. There's also a QR code for the Darfit companion app. Some more specifications on the side but let's quickly open it up and see how it works. Right on the top is a lot of paperwork, registration for warranty, surprise you have a book my show coupon, then you have Ghana subscription for 3 months, then you have the Bold Play app membership and you have the user manual. Here is the watch itself, really nice, we'll have a look at it in just a moment. And finally a pogo pin charging cable that aligns and attaches magnetically as you bring it closer. So let's have a closer look at the watch, first we'll get rid of this sticker, there you go. So you get a square dial with a polycarbonate body. We get this nice flat frame which looks really nice. Also worth mentioning the watch is really really thin. Have a look. Unbelievable. On the other side you can spot there's a single button. Also nice flat sides. Doesn't attract any fingerprints or smudges. We've got nice soft silicon straps with a buckle design. The buckle is made of metal and comes with a firebolt branding on it. Moving towards the back, the back is made of plastic, housing the heart rate sensor, the SP2 sensor in the center and the charging terminals here. Now there is this protective screen here, the protective film, make sure you remove this so that the sensors give you more accurate readings. There you go. Now these are 20mm straps that can be replaced with any third party bands, just pull the hook to release. Very very convenient. Overall a really nice, light and compact watch. Time to pair it. So take your phone, go to the Play Store or App Store if you're using an iPhone and download the Fit app. Once done, click open, come to devices here, click add devices, take the watch, press the button on the side and hold it for a couple of seconds. There's a vibration with Firebolt branding, you'll see the name right here, click. And there you go, it's done, barely takes a couple of seconds. The Firebolt Epic comes with IP68 rating, so it's protected from dust and water. You can wear it at the gym, for a run, in the shower or even while you swim. In fact, the watch also comes with swim tracking, which is excellent considering the price. So let's have a closer look at the display. Now as you press this button on the side, it'll wake the display. You press it again, it'll put it back to sleep. Now this is a 1.69 inch LCD display with a resolution of 240 by 280 pixels. Now even though this is not a very high resolution display, the images and text are very very clear. You can see the image of Virat Kohli, very clear. You can read the smallest text here, the steps, the beats per minute and the time. Really, really good. The color reproduction too is pretty good and blacks are pretty decent. The interface is also really smooth. You can see here, you can see the steps taken, sleep tracking, heart rate, exercise, blood pressure, SpO2, the weather, camera shutter, music player. And when you press this button, you go back to the home page. Swipe from the top to access your quick toggles, the vibration alerts, turn your display into a torch, then here is theta mode where the display dims down and no vibration alerts and no notifications. Then the brightness can be adjusted directly from here. You can see the weather and if you go into settings, you can change the menu view from grid view to list view. Depends on what you like. I prefer the list view. You can adjust the brightness, vibration on and off, theta mode, reset, power off, about, app QR code. Press the button to go back to the home page. Swipe from down to access your missed call alerts and notifications. If you swipe right, you can see the steps taken, sleep tracking, you can measure your heart rate, exercise, measure BP, SPO2, weather, camera shutter, music player to control your music that's playing on your phone, there's a breathe app, there's stopwatch, there's alarms. Sadly, you cannot set the alarm time from the watch, you have to do that from the app. But yes, you can turn the alarm on and off from the watch itself. Then there's countdown, flashlight, there's even game and the two common games 2048 which is a really really popular game that you can play directly on your watch itself which is really really fun. And the second game is Young Bird and of course this too is a fairly easy game to play on your watch. And there you go, let's see if I can get that one point. 
and there you go i got that one point okay game over maybe i'm not too good at it so similarly there's also games and settings then if you press and hold in the center you can change the pre-installed watch faces check these out some really really nice ones that you get installed more you can download from the app overall i can say that the interface is really really easy very smooth and super easy to use all right let's check out the health monitoring sensors starting with heart rate and there you go we get 70 beats per minute let's check out blood pressure as well and there you go we get 111 by 74 and finally let's check out the spo2 as well there you go we get 97 percent so it has all the basic health monitoring features spo2 heart rate blood pressure and mostly quite reliable however it's not a medical device so use it just for reference and not for medical purposes then we also receive call alerts on our watch and trust me it's almost instantaneous you can see the caller's name with an option to reject the call or silent the ringer very very convenient similarly you also receive app notifications you can see the sender's name you can see the app icon and you can even read the message directly on your watch however there's no option to reply to an incoming message the Firebolt Epic comes in 120 workout modes. All you need to do is go into the menu and you can come into exercise. Here you'll see walking, running, cycling, skipping, badminton, basketball, football, climbing, tennis, rugby, golf, yoga, fitness, baseball, elliptical training, indoor. My God, the list is long. Then there is a plus sign and then it is subdivided into categories. The popular ones, water sports, sailing, water polo, kayaking, rafting, swimming, artistic swimming, open water swimming, it's got it all. Outdoor activities, training, dance, there are so many types of dance workouts here, Zumba, jazz dance, folk dance, options are almost endless. Ball sports, winter sports, recreation sports and other sports. Really, really good collection. Now when you start your workout, there is a countdown, you can see the time of your workout, total steps, total calories burnt, heart rate, total distance, light workout or extreme workout right here. And if you swipe here, you can pause your workout or end your workout. Coming to the battery. So Firebolt claims that the Epic should last for about 7 days with typical use. However, battery life will vary depending on your use. There's brightness levels, there's how much you're working out, notifications, all those will vary. But still I can say you'll get 4 to 5 days easily. The battery life here is solid. Let's quickly check out the DaFit companion app. Right here on the home page, you can see the steps taken, the sleep tracking, heart rate, blood pressure, your blood oxygen, outdoor workouts. If you come to the second option, you can see the watch, you can see the battery percentage, come into watch faces. These are the four or five watch faces that come pre-installed. If you come into more watch faces, there's a huge collection of watch faces that you can download from here. In fact, there are some for Independence Day as well. Pretty cool. Check that out. Wow. And you're going to get a huge collection to download from it. In fact, there are even more that keep loading as you scroll below. Let's just install this and see. And there you go. Also, you can set a custom watch face by going into edit, choosing a picture from your phone gallery. You can even change the text position. You can change the color of the font. I'm going with black. And there you go. Custom watch face is loaded on your watch. Now, if you go back here, you can see notifications. You can choose from which apps you want notifications and from which apps you don't. In fact, there's also other options. So if you're using WhatsApp business, you'll receive notifications after you enable this. Then there's alarms. You can set the alarm timings directly from here. Camera shutter. In others, you have time format can be changed. Units, do not disturb. Reminders to move. Continuous heart detection can be turned on and off. Control your phone music, language, Auto lock can be changed from 5 seconds to 30 seconds. The lesser, the better the battery life. Then you have reset, quick view, drink water reminder, heart rate warning, weather, psychological cycle reminder, which is the menstrual cycle reminder for women. Coming back, there's upgrade. And in the third option, you can set your goals and you can also share data with Google Fit, which I think is a huge plus for this app. So overall, I can say that the app interface is really easy and convenient to use. All right, final thoughts. Well, there's no phone calling feature on this watch, which probably is one of the only cons I see. However, on the bright side, phone calling on most of these budget watches is never a really good experience. And it also drains a lot of battery. So I've seen a lot of people eventually stop using that phone calling feature. For $14.99, I don't see any con in this watch. The Firebolt Epic is an absolute winner. Easily recommended. But remember, this $14.99 is an Independence Day offer, so grab it as soon as possible before the price goes up. 
It goes on sale tomorrow, 15th of August at 12 p.m. on Flipkart. I'll share the links of all the color variants below in the description. If you'd like to buy one or two, you should definitely check it out. By the way, this also makes for an excellent gift. So do check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them all. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers. Thank you.